Mr. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Mervyn King with the request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Commerce Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Mervyn King's contribution to the advancement of inclusive, value-driven corporate governance extends across the globe. He has not only helped establish the parameters of responsible citizenship and sound corporate governance in South Africa, but has been at the leading edge of improving corporate transparency and disclosure worldwide. Holding the degree BALLB from the University of the Witwatersrand, King is a senior counsel and former judge of the Supreme Court of South Africa. Yet, it is since his entry into commerce in the 1980s that his name has been permanently etched into the corporate governance landscape both locally and abroad. Under the chairmanship of this accomplished businessman, the King Committee on Corporate Governance in South Africa has produced four seminal corporate governance reports since 1994. These have become the gold standard for a more stakeholder-based concept of corporate governance. The innovations introduced by the King reports include a more comprehensive focus on ethical leadership, corporate citizenship, sustainability reporting, and integrated reporting. Having shifted corporate governors focus to their business's broader social impact and long-term sustainability, the King reports were dubbed the future of corporate governance by Sir Adrian Cadbury in 2009. Although compliance with the reports is not mandatory, they have been incorporated into the Johannesburg Stock Exchange's listing criteria requiring mandatory disclosure of how the King principles have been applied. Dames and heren, dan moet ek dadelijk bijvoeg dat die Universiteit Stellenbosch volgens die richtlijne van boognoemde King verslag jaarlijks ook een geïntegreerde jaarverslag bij die departement van hoer onderwijs en opleiding indien. Afgezien van professor King zijn invloedrijke rol in die King Committee, wordt hij ook in ander forums even hoog geacht. In dienst van die land en vaste land staan hij aan die stuur van die vernootschap voor deersichtigheid in Afrika en dien hij als lid van die adviescomitee van de Universiteit van Stellenbosch Bestuurschool Centrum voor Coöperatieve Bestuur in Afrika. Boonop is hij een voormalige voorzitter van de Zuid-Afrikaanse reclame standaarde overheid. Op die groter wereld verhoog is hij onder meer voorzitter van die Internationale Raad voor Geïntegreerde Verslagdoening, IIRC, emeritus voorzitter van die Wereldwijde Verslagdoeningsinitiatief, GRI, en een lid van die Wereldbankse Privaat Sector Adviesgroep oor coöperatieve bestuur. Hij was ook voorzitter van die Verenigde Naties Komitee oor beheer en toezicht. Professor King's advocacy for sound corporate governance has earned this respected author and well-known media commentator many international accolades. Most recently, in 2016, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the International Corporate Governance Network and was also awarded the Order of the Baobab by the Business Ethics Network of Africa for his contribution to responsible corporate citizenship. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, Stellenbosch University takes great pleasure in honoring Professor King for his exceptional pursuit of a more responsible and accountable corporate governance regime locally and abroad. He embodies engaged citizenship and responsible leadership, both attributes that the university seeks to instill in its graduates. I hereby request that you confer on Professor Mervyn King the degree Doctor of Commerce Honoris Causa. <clears throat> I hereby confer on you, Mervyn King, the degree Doctor of Commerce Honoris Causa.
Thank you very much, uh, Professor Duplessis, for that commendation. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, thank you for the honor bestowed on me. It's been a long walk towards sustainable development. I was brought up as a student in commercial law that directors had to act in the best interest of what was said to be the general body of shareholders. It was a shareholder-centric governance model. The professors who taught me that were wrong, with respect. Because as directors, and many of you graduating in commerce today, will one day be corporate leaders, you have to understand that the company, the limited liability company, which was established by statute, in the middle of the 19th century is an artificial person that has no body to be kicked, no soul to be damned, and has no conscience. It's inanimate until directors are appointed that animate it. So when there's a corporate failure or there's a corporate scandal, the company remains this incapacitated person and of course, it's the directors and management carrying out the direction of the board that need to be asked the questions as to what has gone wrong. Right through the 20th century, until certainly the last five years of the 20th century, we actually practiced a form of governance which was unsustainable development. Because by the end of the century, it was realized that companies and as individuals, we had been using natural assets faster than nature was regenerating them. Clearly not a sustainable matter. And so today, a good corporate citizen is one that has a business model that strives to achieve sustainable development, defined as integrating the positive impacts on the three critical dimensions for sustainable development, the economy, society and the environment. A bad corporate citizen is one that focuses only on the financial and does not concern itself about negative impacts on society and the environment. As professional advisors, which you will be as graduates to companies, you will have a professional duty but you're also transient caretakers of this planet. You have a moral duty to those who come after us to try and leave a sustainable planet. And as professional advisors to this incapacitated company, you have a very important role to play. You've spent years at this great university to graduate today. You've built up networks. Do not forget your fellow graduates as you go forth into the world. Alumni, colleagues will be important for the rest of your life. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.